Welcome back. Water is one of the most important factors that shapes our environment. And at Echo in Burlington, they're trying to give kids a hands-on, high-tech start to understanding how water works with the land around them. That's this week's Sunday Science with Cat Villanzoni. Welcome back. We're here at ECHO with Bill Ellison, Public Education Manager, and we're talking about the way water shapes Vermont. And we actually have this really cool exhibit here to tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, um, so this is a state-of-the-art watershed modeling system where we use uh, this special sand that actually has a little bit of polymer in it. And that sand allows us to make different uh, watershed systems. And then we can pass our hand over it and make it rain and see how the water moves over different landforms. And so what do kids take away from this? What are they learning from making this, you know, putting their hands here and kind of making this blue rain happen? What do they learn about water in the process? Yeah, so when, you know, it depends on you know, how old the kids are and what experiences they have, right. of course. Um, but the, the basic uh, ideas are that kids start to understand and, and adults start to understand you know, how water moves over different uh, different land systems. So, you know, that it moves downhill and it is going to continue through, um, you know, different uh, topographies. And, um, and we don't get as much erosion and things like that in here, but the idea of pathways of water and that if you change the land, the water has to move because of that um, is, is really what we're looking at here. And of course, this spring we've had quite a bit of water action that kids might have seen and experienced firsthand. Yeah. Can they try that out here? Can they say, you know, if this, my house is on a hill, where, do you, you know, where does the water go from there? Yeah, they sure can. What you can do with this is you could uh, position yourself, you can imagine that your house is in one spot and you can have it rain a little bit or a lot. So you can uh, flood it all the way up or, uh, or just have a little bit of water and see how that goes down to different, um, to different lakes or streams. And why is it important that kids kind of get that early experience with understanding how water interacts with their environment? Yeah, it's important because um, because water and land right shape our whole environment. So um, you know, as as you know, um, rivers don't stay in the same path the whole time, right? For their whole life, they change and and uh, you know make oxbows and migrate from one place to the other. So this is kind of the introduction uh, for kids to really learn how water behaves. And tell me a little bit about the technology with this. Obviously, yeah. we have this really neat thing where you can actually hold your hands up and make the rain happen, like mm -hmm. exactly like she's doing there. Yeah. Uh, how does that work? What's, what kind of makes this happen? What it's doing is it's using a Kinex, which is up here in the, in the top. Um, that feeds into a computer, um, which reads the different topography of the sand. And that tells the computer to project with this projector down on different topographic lines, different colors that correspond to different elevations. So you're learning about water, you're learning about topography. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an all around table. Yeah, it's great. And, and you, you know, little kids can, you know, if they're really young, can just get that experience of, of building different things. Wow, that is really cool. The kids look like they're having fun. Thank you, Kat.